G'day. Today I thought I would do the specific gravity test on some of these specimens. So first up, you weigh the specimen dry. That was 249 when it came out of the ground. I've given it a fair bit of a clean up as you can probably see. Got a lot of that muck off. And it comes in now at 236. This was uh, 274. It's now 269. Now this test only works on quartz specimens. That was the 74 grammar. I started cleaning it up. It's now on 72. Just going to weigh that one again. That one straight out of the acid and probably still got a bit of moisture on it. 237. 238. Okay, we go 237 on that one. So we jot those figures down. And then the next thing we do is measure them fully submerged underwater. So I've made a little basket here just hang it needs to be fully clear of the bottom so that the nugget is just suspended in water or specimen and make sure that it's clear of the sides of the scales I'm not touching anything and yes it's clear of the bottom so that comes in at 177, 176, 176, by the look of that, it's settled on. So we take that back out. Yeah, and then we'll do the 274 grammar. Coming in right on 200. I'll jot that down. And then do that little 74 grammar. Making sure that nothing's touching. And it's coming at 50. So now we have our dry weight and our wet weight. And then it's just a simple matter of doing some maths. So on the first one we have 237 grams dry times 1.9. Then its wet weight was 176 grams times 3.1. gives us 545.6 now we subtract the first weight being 450.3 from 545.6 and I'm left with 95.3 95.3 so 95.3 that's basically three ounces a little bit over three ounces so next I'll do the 274 grammar, so that was 269 dry times 1.9, which is 511.1, and then 200, which is the wet weight, times 3.1, which comes in at 620, so then we take the 511, And we're left with 109 grams, which is 109 grams, which is about three and a half ounces in that fella. And then the 
74 gram or is 72 dry times the 1.9 which is 136.8 and then the 50 which was the wet weight times 3.1 which is 155 minus the 136.8 is 18.2 18.2 grams out of that fella and that's approximately about about half to two thirds of an ounce got to be happy with that so all up we have 222.5 grams which is about seven ounces and five grams so that's mixing metric with imperial but that gives you a rough idea about three now they'd probably be worth a little bit more as specimens um, especially the two bigger ones but that one there has got about 40 percent gold content which is pretty good uh, that's got 40 percent and that's got about 25 percent so like i said when i first started weighing them and looking at them this material has got a good gold content because I can remember the 259 gram only having 29 odd grams, 29 and a half which is you know really only about 14-15% so having 40% if you could find this reef wow you'd be doing really well you might be able to see some gold in there That's you do lose a little bit during the cleaning process and that would simply go in the next pan when I crush those ironstone specimens up and there's a few of those ironstone specimens they were the better ones, that was the 18 grammer I started cleaning those up but as you can see it stays just pretty well red rock you don't get that nice white quartz reasonable gold content in most of them that one's a bit shy but these it's quite weighty that's almost almost a nugget but a fair bit of ironstone with a little bit of quartz there as well so possibly that one maybe that one I could have done an SG test on but doesn't really matter do the most important ones and the rest end up in the dolly pot anyway they still got solution on them you can see it on my fingers so I'll be washing them shortly that was a nice little screamer right on top and then there's that other quartz specimen so there's a few of the um, ironstone specimens And those fellas will probably end up in the dolly pot and that's where I get a bit of fun that and any ugly quartz ones all go in the dolly pot and then I get to do a little bit of panning as well at the end of the trip so I always enjoy that so I've already started cleaning up these gold nuggets as well uh, that was at one ounce or near enough starting to get that colour that beautiful gold shiny colour about it that was a 12 grammer. Could be a little bit of iron stain in there. It's hard to say. Right, so that's what it is. A little bit of iron stain from the iron stain reef it come out of. Um, that one there is a lot cleaner. Pretty well just a splatter of gold and some of the more nicer shaped ones they all tend to have a little bit of rubbish in them and that was interesting I remember that one it was a beautiful signal that was right just up from that one ounce real river worn sort of nuggets they were 
It's a nice clean one. And then you just got all these little bits. A few better ones in amongst them. Now I did lose a little bit of the footage this year uh, that I did shoot. It's a new camera, it's a new computer and an old brain trying to work it all out. I'm not sure if I deleted the memory card a bit early on a couple of them before I run out of, like, so I didn't run out of room before I uploaded them or I'm not sure if I uploaded them and didn't save them properly but I spent a couple of hours looking through the computer and there was a few there I know I did video but couldn't find the footage. So that's probably the best I can do to show you the nuggets that I found. There's not that much there. It was a very tough year. It was very overgrown. Very hard to swing the coil in a lot of places. Very hard to get through. The damage to the truck's pretty substantial, but I don't really care about that. Like I've ripped the aerial off. Scratched it, something shocking. There's about two tonne of foliage up underneath it. You really had to push, push your way through. But I got to most places I wanted to go, had a fair good look around, got a couple of nice species there, found some new ground, found some nice nuggets, so all in all I'm fairly happy.